<laughs> Greetings, Cosmos, and welcome back to Super Mario and the Ancient Stars. Sorry that the last few days have been... Oh, Star Void as a boss, huh? Sorry that the last few days have not had any episodes. I Between work and everything else going on in my life, I've been kind of busy. Well, here we are. No way it'll escape now. Go on. Remember to attack its right leg first, then left, and after this, hit that his head. Right leg, left leg, head. Say your prayers. So attack the right leg first, and then the left leg, and then the head. Got it. So, can I get a weapon? There is a Rinka. Oh, what? Those things aim at me. So, do I get weapons of some kind? Or is this just a survival game? I really dig the aesthetic of the blue rinkas, by the way. Oh, there's a bomb of some kind. I'm terrified to pick- whoa! No! No! I was terrified to pick that bomb up because I was worried I'd get, get, get it exploded on something. Ow. Oh, hey, can I pick these up out of the air? I'm uh, sure I'm not meant to, but... Can I? Huh. Interesting that two bullets got stuck on the top of the screen until the boss was ready to, uh... come back. I seem to recall a certain toad, probably Desert Toad, had a, a leaf that, it, that he would offer me. And since these blocks are apparently destroyable by, um, ow, by explosives, no! That kind of sucked. But anyway, since those blo blocks are apparently destroyable by explosives rather than, say, hammers, I'm hoping that I can destroy them with a tail as well. Alright, let's see here. Blah blah blah, hate visitors. So I'm going to take your stuff. Alright. I feel like that boss should give you more time to, you know, use your bomb before it, uh, leaves. I think it leaves before the bomb even explodes, and since that bomb doesn't explode when thrown, I think that means the boss is unbeatable unless you do something like this. So right leg, and then left leg, and then head. Oh, I, I get a bomb right off the bat now. I, uh... Oh, ow. Now you've given me a thing that I can't, uh... Woo! No! H how do I deal with that? Ah, 
I am still amused at those bullets just stopping wherever they happen to be when the boss leaves for the background. Yeah, the no! These things aren't going to hurt you when you're in the air. Well, I don't know what to say. Except this boss appears to be unbeatable. Except by cheating. Gimme red shoe. Gimme a red shoe. Need red shoe. Okay. Need a leaf. Alright, first off, I'm just going to cheat myself some stuff that I can acquire legit. Red it is cool. So, first, I'm going to. I cheat myself some stuff that I can acquire legit. And then, uh, see if I can use this stuff to accomplish my goal of defeating the boss. I mean, I could go and actually acquire the stuff legit, but that requires a lot of walking around. And... Okay. Okay. Oh no, I messed up. Alright. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, see the boss leaves before the bomb explodes. I'm going to hop out of that shoe. I love the animation on that, where it flies into ow, into the background and then fires upon me. Oh no, out of that shoe. Okay, now it's returning. Like I love that animation, but. Oh, a turtle! Heck yes, I want a turtle. No, impossible. Ugh, come and face me alone. Oh, thank goodness. I wish I would have thought to grab the shoe, but... While that was... So, well, that was some fine fighting. Go there and teach that creep a lesson. Remember, you can only a attack it with hammers. Okay. This does not compute. How could you destroy my magnificent creation? Now, feel the wrath of the greatest computer humanity will ever see. Oh my. What's this? Wow. Oh no. You're throwing rinkas at me while I'm trapped between lava place? Yeah, that that's lava. I can understand. I can see dodging one rinka like that being reasonable. But three? Holy cow. Hey, guess what, kids? I'm invincible. I should have gone further over to the left, I think there's more space there. Yeah, yeah, I... I don't know what I could have done there to dodge all that. Ah, that would have killed me. Oh, these pillars aren't real.
Well, at, at least the the flame pillar, the lava pillars that rise will uh, give you an indication that they're about to rise. I just wasn't paying enough attention for it the first time. So, how do I get hammers? Well, that would have hit me. How do I get hammers? Oh, my hammers are gone. Wah! Oh no, I should have gone further to the left again. Alright, so... Alright, I think I might have dodged that, but I also might have walked into the lava wall. This part is actually pretty cool, but... That part where you're trapped between two lava walls, and you have to get to the edge ones to have more space to dodge... I don't like that. Give me fewer rinkas during that part. Also, give me more chances to fight back. What is this? Oh! This is to jump over. Okay. I thought that was a background object when I first saw it. Like, I was staring at it. It was like, was that there before? No, it most definitely was not. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh. Alright, I think I've got it down to one or two hits left, maybe? But yeah, this would be a super stressful fight if I was fighting it legit. Especially this part. I mean, three Rinkas. Now, now, in a narrow space like that, I could probably dodge three Rinkas if I was allowed to touch the walls. Now, the interesting thing about this fight is I'm pretty sure that nothing here is something you have you absolutely have not encountered before. And the fight is long and complicated, but I think everything here has shown up in some form at least once before. Ah, I would have gotten tagged there. Alright, alright. Stand up, Mario. Got it. How many hits is this thing going to take? No! 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 How can this be? I... I... Lost... And even powered by the ancient star? Um, was I hallucinating just now? You, you're not saying anything. Oh, nice! I love it! Well, now that the void is gone, the pollution will stop. And that star that powered it survived. That's great, isn't it? Guess that is the reason why it was so wise or something like that. <laughs> Alright. Back to the star sanctuary. Time to discover the meaning of things. Alright, so. Oh. Jump better, Mario. What? What is with this weird stuttering nonsense? Oh, wait, this is the wrong. The wrong place. Fortunately, I can go back. Thank you for that decision. 
You don't just thrust me into a place. You give me the option to go back in case I've gone into the wrong door. Alright, so... I think this might be... No. Ah, here's what I'm looking for. Okay, Bowser, and what's this? The Mega Metropolis! If you like loud and noisy life, that's the place just for you. Just make sure you live in the peaceful part of this enormous island. This place was once covered in hate and despair of war because humans and the AI got a little carried away. Now they have a treaty, but who knows how long it takes before another conflict erupts. Points of interest are the fastest train on earth, the capital city, the building of the corporation away to got destroyed. <laughs> And this requires 11 stars to enter. So I feel like I'm going to get another 6 stars in the final world. Alright. So, this is Starboy. Status destroyed. Known relatives, creators of unknown race or name. Star Void is, as it refers to, the great computer, the greatest computer program humanity will ever see. I feel like humanity was, except for Mario and Luigi and possibly Link, although Link's more like, well, wiped out. So yes, probably wiped out by this thing. It was created by some scientists of unknown race when they found the star and used it to power the void. However, something was malfunctioning, and it killed every one of them and became vicious and power hungry. It itself is powerful, but when it uses its mech, you can count on your demise. Oh yes, definitely. It took forever for that turtle to show up. Though it may be strong, it was destroyed in an explosion of its mech after it was ashamed of being so weak after being beaten by Mario. It self-destructed itself. Oh, so that's what went on there. I got teleported away by some unknown force, and it just kind of blew itself up. Hiya. Yes. And so now I think I go through here. Yep. The reveal. It was a trap all along. I knew it. No, oh, it's not a wraparound place. Well, I suppose that's for the best because you could easily go to the left right at the beginning and die. Alright, I'm still invincible. Let's fix that. Okay. Oh, hey, princess. So. You've come. I must say I didn't expect you to do it so fast. It's good for you, because if I get bored, my prosoners start losing limbs. So now, give me the ancient stars. All of them. Why is the Yoshi involved in it? I have waited millennia for this. Now the ritual can begin. Millennia is already plural. This is a plural plural. How long have you been waiting? At this point, you might just might as well just say eons. But first, even how vicious I am, I am a honorable being. Have your princess. <laughs> wow, phew. Because of his spell, I wasn't allowed to talk. Mario shouldn't have given him the stars. He will use them to... Oh, Peach, don't spoil the fun. We're right the highlight of the adventure. Now? Oh, I was messing around and missed something. I feel it. I've waited so long. And now? Ah, it was a mask all along. 
Yes, I have been sealed in this pathetic body by these stars for far too long, one one. Do you like my new form? I hope so, because I will rule this universe for eternity, one one. Yes, I am what was left of the destroyed galaxy, the leftovers of the planets formed with the power from the blast stars created. I sought revenge. I found them, for they were still too powerful, so they sealed in that pit of, they sealed me in that pitiful body for centuries, but now all of you will kneel. Oh ugh, I keep pushing buttons. Let's meet Rosalie, I hope she'll give us any hints. Yes. Oh, here's the exit. Well, I need to go for now. Join me next time when uh, we get some hints about what is even going on. Yes.